Alexa was not uh, my choice for this particular project. It's my choice for all my projects. <laughs> yeah, since uh, you know, I, I shoot the digital, since uh, Dallas Buys Club. So uh, it's just my my tool now. Uh, this camera, especially the Alexa, yeah, the uh, see see life like me. <laughs> okay. I didn't do any, you know, I didn't play with the camera. I never play with Alexa for me are, is perfect. And I just use the Rec 709 and I'm used to it. Like, you know, like a film stock that you know exactly the the, the contrast and what, what it can take. So my eye is used to, the, so I, I light by eye with the Rec 709. And the only thing we did, it's change of lenses during uh, the film. So in Ireland at the beginning, we are, Old size high speed, super speed, shot always all, almost wide open, uh, no diffusion, lighting very realistic. And the moment she's in the boat, we still have the same lens, but it was we good. And the moment she's out in America, I, I use Master Prime with uh, diffusion, so uh, Hollywood uh, black magic. So just because you know she's in America now and it's a dream, and we kept the same kind of the same recipe in Ireland when she's back because she changed so much and she's uh, instead of I use the same diffusion but I changed to um, Leica. It's something like uh, Gordon Willis was very master because he was shooting uh, he was um, yeah shooting he was lighting very contrasty but he had to have kind of power of light because you know the, the, the film stock was like maximum 200 ASA when he was shooting uh, is great, uh, you know, like the Godfather and everything, I think. And even the 200 was like when you push the film and so on. So, uh, but what is good, it's it's not a, like, you know, with, with the film, when you were underexposing, you were always red because the magenta layer was the first one. And with Alexa, I don't have that any, anymore too much. It's a little warmer, but it's not like, on, in film, sometimes we had to light the shadows with blue light a little bit because it was, we knew that it would be too red. So um, it's more like you can, you know, when we you in film, when we would do like some very crazy shots and very low light situation and we could have an exposure, but you could always see it, like the grain will pop in and everything. And with my Alexa, it's very rare that I have, you know, I have to correct the, the noise or the grain or something like that. Usually we add some, but with Jamak, we always add a little bit of grain at the final print. <laughs> I don't like to you know, make people wait and everything. And sometimes during a take, I change the ASA during the take to have the same exposure. I don't want to change my stop during the scene and or we don't have time to change the filter. And I don't trust the NDs anymore sometimes. So I just change the ASA. So sometimes in a scene, I go from uh, from 800 to 200, 600, uh, yeah. Because you know, the, especially when the weather changes. You know, usually, because I don't, want, I don't want to have the, I, I'm trying to have the same stop, you know, during the, the, the same scene. And I just know that the curves change a little bit, but it's not enough, you know. And, and frankly, sometimes it's, I like it, you know, uh, like a big, a big sunny scene if I put it at, at uh, what is it, 160? Uh, but I know that I have a little more detail in the, in the blacks than in the whites, you know, when you're close to 800. So, uh, yeah, I'm not shy about it. I, I play with, with it always. <laughs> and the color temperature, always, always, always. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like, we like to mix. I like to mix. I always want to like it to mix. And even in film, you know, when I was shooting in film, I, I love Nestor and Mendros that would use daylight and constant at the same time. But sometimes in film, with the film stock, especially Fuji, the blue and the orange would be like very, you know, too obvious. But with Alexa, it's almost more subtle. You know, I, it's warm and cold, but it's not like baby blue and uh, uh, sunset orange. Especially in the, in the talking, you know, when people were talking, uh, sitting, the dinner scenes the, with the girls, between the girls or the, with the Italian family, we were both two cameras at this point, but always handheld, but I, I, I call it invisible handheld. Uh, it's just to work faster, to be more human, you know, because you, you, we always have foreground, so if uh, the person move a little bit, you move a little bit too. And my goal is, yeah, it's to, uh, this, with this kind of scenes, it's to, not, not the camera doesn't feel like another character. I want to be invisible, and so yeah, I have to do a little bit of weight and everything because you know the, the, it's a long takes and the, Alex, that, the, the way I love Alexa and I'm shooting raw and everything and I've 
master plan lines, uh, it's, it's a little heavy. So, but uh, I'm good. I can do uh, 15 minutes stakes. I, I'm, yeah, I'm proud. It's <laughs> <laughs> impressive. Yeah, because in, in 35, you had to stop after 10 minutes. But uh, with uh, with uh, with digital, we could go 45 minutes if we want. <gasps> My God. <laughs>